Okay, this is a little demonstration to show how powerful the Earth's magnetosphere is. And uh, used in conjunction with a strong neodymium iron boron magnet. This one has a Gauss rating of N48, however it will work. Uh, with an N45, this is a 1 inch by 1 inch neodymium iron boron N48, rad N48 uh, Gauss rating. Marked uh, north to south here. North is that direction. And if I point my little magnet a la compass in the wrong direction, all I have here is a piece of plastic that I've rubbed a little bit of oil on to make it super slick. You could use a piece of glass and do the same thing. So what we do to have a one-piece one magnet is set your magnet here on the oiled slick surface, shake a little bit, and the neodymium will eventually make its way to north. There we go. So, that's pointed in the opposite direction. So north north is pointing to the south. So, shake it. Neodymium will find the Earth's magnetosphere, align itself to the field parameters, and there we go. Once it's aligned, as I keep shaking it on this piece of plastic that has, uh, actually it's just a little bit of olive oil, coating the surface on it so that the magnet slides very freely with extremely low friction. There you go. These little magnets have a thousand uses, obviously not just as a compass needle, a very, very large compass needle. But, uh, some other things I'll show in other demonstrations. By the way, I have every book ever printed on magnetism, and most people are surprised at the fact that there is nobody on Earth that knows how action at a distance, rather specifically, instantaneous action at a distance works. Nobody. The closest uh, representation is a fraud. It's by Feynman. It's called QED, Strange Theory of Light and Matter. The best quote-unquote explanation is virtual photons, which is, of course, is absolutely and patently absurd as saying a... Uh, Leprechaun, microscopic leprechauns or unicorns are the cause of magnetism. So, here's a neat little trick. If you want to make your own little magnet, I have a neodymium magnet. Just oil it with a piece of glass or plastic. And then you shake it a little bit and the magnet will align itself and show you true north. There we go. Maybe not very fascinating, but magnetism itself is. And the more you study it, the more you will understand the how science knows absolutely nothing about magnetism, specifically action at a distance, and that uh, it's all theory, and uh, there is no genuine knowledge how instantaneous action at a distance operates. The idiot Einstein himself called it spooky. Tesla, of course, refuted Einstein's theory of relativity as absurd nonsense, and of course we all know, at least the intelligent of us, know that Tesla was far, far, far more intelligent than the moron Einstein was. Anyway, Sorry for this little pathetic video. I thought you might find this interesting since I didn't see another one like it on YouTube. Thanks.